What's up everybody? It's Chris with LG Squared. I'm at the Atlanta Craftsman and we're just a few sheets away from finishing the sheeting on this house. This is half inch CDX plywood that you're looking at. And you might notice a few things missing here and that's a um, door and window openings and overhangs. And all that's intentional. So we're leaving all the door and windows uh, closed up because we want to install the WRB which is happening starting tomorrow. It's a liquid applied STPE based water resistive barrier. That goes in starting tomorrow. Once that's complete, we'll do a blower door test with a fog machine. We'll pressurize the house and let the fog fill it up. And if there are leaks, we will find them through where the fog is coming through. Once we have that, once we chase down all those leaks and seal them up, we will then move on to rough in and that will be you know mechanicals windows doors all of that once we have all the mechanicals the mep penetrations done we'll do another blower door test with a fog machine to test to see how well those are holding up the the ceiling around those penetrations and then another one after windows are installed windows and doors so we're testing them at three different stages to be sure that we can really isolate where the leaks are happening if they're happening at all. The overhang, we are installing four by eight heavy timber rafters on the outside of the structure, and this is to minimize or eliminate thermal bridging. We're not letting the roof structure itself penetrate through the sheathing, because that's where our control layers are. Our air, vapor, water, and heat control layers are all right, they're right at the sheathing layer. And so we want to protect that. We want that to be super continuous, uninterrupted. And so we're going to attach these four by eight heavy timber rafters on the outside to through the through the structure into the two by tens that are at the roof uh, with some timber locks. And that'll happen around the entire home. This is a craftsman style home, so of course we have overhangs, and these heavy timber rafters will be they will be in. Uh, flush with the four inches of insulation on the roof. Four by eight will extend out past two feet from the wall and then there'll be a four inch thick by three and a half inch wide leg that extends up the roof and that's what's attaching it to the structure. Again it's Chris with LG Squared at the Atlanta Craftsman. Bye for now.